Hi dear friends, in this video I will tell you what is derivatives or futures trading on L Bank Exchange and how to use them in this trading platform. In this video I use one of the popular exchanges for futures. I think this is because it is one of the few exchanges that does not require mandatory verification and you can trade from any country. I recommend everyone to give L Bank a try. And by the way, you can get a welcome bonus of $250 using my promo code, which you can see now on the screen. Or just use the link in the video description. Okay, let's get started. Open your account. And if you have some crypto on your spot wallet, you have to transfer it to the futures wallet. You can use USDT to trade in futures. Just go to the derivatives tab, then futures, and select a cryptocurrency such as a Bitcoin or Litecoin, whichever you prefer. Here, I am choosing Bitcoin to USDT. Okay, now you have the workspace. This looks pretty cool. That's very similar to the classic trading. But trading on the futures, you can earn a lot of more money. So, what the futures trading is? This is similar to the classic trading, but L Bank Exchange lends you money when you buy or sell an asset. For example, we have only $100, so we can buy Litecoins for $2,500 because we have 25x leverage. And then, when it reaches some value, you can sell it you will get your $100 and profit from this deal. So, you can get much more money from one deal. Or, if its price goes down, you will lose your $100 or part of that money, but no more. And also, the nice thing that you can sell some coins without having them, L Bank Exchange gives you the equivalent of your USDT in these coins. And when you close the order, you buy this coin and it converts to USDT back. So, you can sell it before buying. You can make the deal in reverse order. You buy the coin when you think it will rise in price and sell when you think it will drop. For example, Bitcoin costs $20,000 and you have only $100. L Bank Exchange gives you the maximum leverage is X125. So you can buy Bitcoins for $12,500. Then Bitcoin rose to the 25k, now you close the deal. And you get $3,150 in profit. That's really cool, but there is one thing. If this price drops to the 19k $840, you will lose your $100, so it's very risky to trade here. You can minimize risks by setting stop losses and take profits. You set stop loss value to prevent the loss of all your money. Like if this price drops to 19k $970, you will lose only $20 instead of $100 and you will be able to continue trading. Take profit is the price when the order closes automatically. You need this so you don't miss out on a good closing price. Okay, let's talk about the interface. Here, you select what currency you want to trade. There are a lot of coins. You can add the favorites, assets which do you trade the most, so you can fast switch between them. This is the current price and price on the market. You can see here the chart of the changing the coin price. This is the order book that shows the prices and volume of buying and selling deals. This part is your dashboard. Price, this is at what price you want to buy or sell the coin. You can use the price from the order book. Just click on the price you want. Or, you can buy or sell it with the current market price. To do this, just go to the market tab. Amount is how much money you want to put in the new order. I can put only 200 bucks because it's all I have. Then you can change the margin mode. Isolated, for example, in 125 leverage, if my position drops by $200, the order will be closed and my margin will be liquidated. When I use the cross type and if my position drops by $200, then this position will take margin from order you opened and you can lose more money. Then set the leverage, how much money you want to take from the L Bank Exchange for this deal. Your margin will be multiplied by this number. So I will buy Bitcoins for $2,000 by using and risking only my $200. Set the take profit and stop loss so you don't lose all your money. Set the prices or the percentages of this value. For example, 10% for the profit and 0.5% for the loss. I want to buy, so I set these values on the buy tab. If you want to sell, do it on another tab. Then you can buy or sell the coin. Buying is also called long and selling is short. And now I just make a long position by clicking this green button. As you can see, a new position has been created. You can see your position and closing values on the chart. You can see I have set not good values of the profit and loss. You can change it just by pressing this TP slash CL button and set the prices you want. You can also see here how much you will get or lose when this position will be closed. I recommend you to set stop losses and take profits. Don't be a loser. Guys, and a very important point. If something goes wrong, you can always close the position instantly by clicking on the button MKT close right here. And to open a regular order to close the position at the desired price. Next to it, you can see the button close and fields where you can enter your price and quantity. 
Let's talk about the chart. This is a candlestick chart. One candlestick is the changing price for the select interval. In my case it's 15 minutes, but you can change it for yourself. Green candlestick means the price has increased in this interval, and red means the price has fallen. And also it has this thin line that shows the maximum and minimum prices for this time. And the last parameter is trading volume. It's how much coins has been bought or sold within this time interval. This is actually all what you have to know about futures to start trading. Let's continue if you want to know about one unique exchange. Mexi Exchange. What sets Mexi apart is its ultra-low trading fees, some of the lowest in the industry. On top of that, it offers hassle-free access with no mandatory KYC requirements. Experience the difference with this standout exchange. Click my link below to claim your exclusive new user's offer.